Well, praise the good Lord and good afternoon, saints of the Most High. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump right to it. I uh, know my time kind of gets away from me. So um, right now I'm in my vehicle, so a little different setting. But I'm running some errands and um, I don't want, you know, to, the day to go by without at least doing a video. So I thought I would sit in the parking lot, do this video so it can upload. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to upload. And so um, that way I can send it out today. So first thing I wanted to mention to you is that earlier this week I was uh, uh, drinking my almond milk and that's something i've been drinking for the last you know a few years i stopped drinking milk because of how much sugar is actually in milk so i would buy unsweetened almond milk and so interesting enough this week i bought uh was drinking the almond milk um and i noticed it was quite sweet to me and so i looked at the label and showing sure up on the label it's like 16 grams of sugar per i guess maybe eight ounces or something of that sort what what in the world that's more sugar in the almond milk than it is in the regular milk so i might as well drink the regular milk but anyway the reason why i'm bringing this up is that i just want to remind you that when you're doing healthy eating you cannot treat the labels the same all labels all products are not the same so you have to be sure you look at the label um that that was just a mistake on my part because it looks so much alike sweetened and unsweetened looks so much alike and so that was a mistake on my part when i picked up the product i didn't pay attention that it was sweetened milk and not unsweetened milk but just pay attention to your labels okay you cannot treat all labels whether it's granola bars protein bars or whatever you have to read them and know what you're getting so that's that also um the second thing is about the calendar um i hope that you i don't know how you're doing on that or not um since this is uh, mental health awareness month i will admit some of the things i was able to do some of the Thing, not so much but um, look at it like this dr. Adams he's uh, one of the new doctors at premier right now and he uh, just wrote something on this week but anyway when he wrote it he was just saying about think progress and not perfection so whatever you do in life think progress don't think perfection okay because sometimes our perfection can cause us to be stressed out over something that it shouldn't have to be so think progress and not perfection all right to what we need to talk about today um so last saturday um at the meeting we were talking about the health awareness um about mental mental health awareness and so it being this month i want to go ahead and continue to talk about that um one of the things that we talked about was our stress and so we know that in life we're going to have stress there are going to be some things that are going to stress us out there are going to be some things that we cannot avoid we're going to have to go through some things but the importance is how you go through those things is what's going to make the difference in your life and so um just want to bring up some um some things to you today first of all the importance that stress does not kill you but it's how we deal with the stress that will kill you or don't deal with it so it's important for us to know how to deal with stressors when they come in our life first of all to recognize first thing recognize that you are stressed that's very important don't ignore it recognize that you're stressed and so you know how your body's feeling you know if you're stressed or not um recognize that you are stressed and some of the things that we know uh, my uh, heart rate goes high our we have headache we feel the tension you feel it i mean like you literally feel it in your body your body reacts to the stress and so recognize that you are just you are stressed that's the first thing and then reckon uh what's causing the stress so take a moment to wonder to figure out what's causing the stress and so there are some stress methods that you can do um and we can talk about that in the future but um i don't have time for that in the video today but there are some things that you can do and you need to find out what those things are that you can do and practice them every day so don't wait till you're stressed to know those things so whether it's breathing techniques uh taking walks or you know reading or taking a bath or whatever make that a practice make that a daily practice and not just um you know when i get stressed practice because when you get stressed and you know you're trying to figure out what to do and how to do what you need to do so make that a daily practice of whatever it is that um you know you can do so the calendar is a help is a help so you know things on the calendar you might be able to apply it every day in your life to be able to help you with that so 
And so it's important that how you handle and practice stress, all right? Um, so don't wait till the, the stress comes to figure that out. Uh, so uh, keep life simple. So I wrote that down. Keep life simple. That's That has become my philosophy in life for the last few days. Keep it simple. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever you're doing in your life, whether it's what you're cooking or what you wear, just keep it simple. It's just too much stuff for us to be having to deal with everyday life. And I'm stressing out about what I'm going to wear today or what I'm going to eat today or uh, where I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You know, just keep life as simple as you can, okay? Keep life simple. That's that's my that's my motto. You know, it's been my motto for the last few, you know, few years now. Keep it simple. Um, know that it's important for us to talk with God um, first and foremost. And foremost, in all your ways, acknowledge him. He'll direct your path and cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. Know that. But also know, as we talked about last Saturday, that God gives us help here on earth. So talk to somebody. Um, you want to talk to that person that's going to be able to help you. If you leave in a conversation and you feeling worse <laughs> with that person when you leave that conversation, I don't care who it is and how spiritual they are. If you leave in a conversation feeling worse than what you felt uh, when you first called them, that's not the person you need to talk to. You need to talk to somebody that's spiritual, but also talk to somebody that's going to be able to help you. And if you're that person that somebody's calling to talk to you, understand that sometimes people just need to talk. They just need to vent. They don't need to hear your opinion or anything like that. Sometimes a friend just need a friend. A friend just needs to be able to talk and be able to vent uh, what's going on. And if you feel led of the Lord to say something or you have something good and positive to be able to direct somebody, then um, that's good. But don't feel like you always have something that you always have to say something because that's not the case. And sometimes people don't ask me. They don't ask me my opinion on stuff. So perhaps, and I'm learning that just to kind of keep it to myself. Um, just be there. Just be in the ear to listen if somebody is going through. Um, so that's important. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, if you change back back to the keep it simple. Sometimes you need to change your routine. You might need to change your environment. If you're feeling stressed out, change your environment. Change your routine of the way you do things. Okay, something simple as that can be a change um, and, and and help you. Um, to eliminate as much stress as you can. Say no. It's okay to say no. It's okay to say no. It's okay not to answer the call. It's okay to get back with people. I'll get back with you. I'll think about it. Listen, you got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of yourself. Um, my husband often used the analogy um, if you ever flew on an airplane before and they give you all the instructions just in case, you know, you know, you are losing oxygen and how they tell you, you put the mask on yourself first before you can help anybody else. So I will use that, use that and give that to you. Put, take care of yourself first before you can take care of anybody else. If you are stressed out and whatnot, how can you help somebody? So it's, imp it's important, you know, take a breath, take a moment, breathe, breathe, saints, all of us. We got to learn how to breathe, how to just enjoy life. One of the things that I read, it says, take a moment and smell the roses. Like literally, take a moment, take a moment, you know, to smell the flowers, just to keep things in perspective um, and, and whatnot. Um, when you're stressed out, I try to do that as well, you know, just to keep things in perspe perspective. I uh, know that, you know, whatever I'm going through, somebody else is going through something even worse than what I'm going through. So, uh, yep. So let me see. But yeah, again, um, God did not intend us for us to be alone. So be sure to reach out to somebody if you need some help. I was encouraging somebody that today, just on this morning, to reach out to somebody if you need some help. You don't have to go through this alone, okay? It does not question your faith. It has nothing to do with the faith that you have or don't have, okay? So go through this with someone. Jesus, uh, you know, he had his disciples around him all the time. We know mainly, not that he needed them, he was teaching them, but at the same time, understand that, you know, we need companionship one with another. So um, I think that's about it. But 
again just keep life simple try to enjoy life try to enjoy whatever day god has given you for god giving us a day today um things did not go the way that i had planned today or expected god to do but i did ask him that his will be done and his will has been done and it's still being done so i'm going to go on with my day i'm going to go on with my day the best that i can and enjoy this gorgeous day that god has given us uh before i leave i would like to invite you we have a cardio workshop there you go a cardio workshop coming up uh, this will be on Tuesday May the 25th at 5 30 this is through premier chiropractic and so at this workshop they said that you will learn why cholesterol is not the boogeyman um, you will discover why blood pressure becomes elevated so that's good for a lot of us to learn that um, you will uncover the underlying causes of heart disease and um and of course they'll talk to you about the five essential plans for optimal op, optimal sorry heart health so this is will, will be free for you if you go with one of us so i i plan to attend i'm not sure if sister ross or sister sean davis or any of the other patients are planning to attend or not so um you can hook up with one of us and see if we're going but i do plan to attend so i can invite as many people as i would like and every meal that every person will be have a free meal this will be at the bridgewater club on 161st street in carmel so let me know if you are interested in um, going and probably no later than next week will be a good time. So probably I think they normally want to know maybe the Friday before the actual event. But I would say probably by mid next week, let me know if you are interested in going. Um, again, it's complimentary if you go with me or anyone that is a patient at Premier Chiropractic. So I think that's all I have for you today. So hopefully it makes sense. I just want you to recognize your stress. I want you to recognize that you are stressed and recognize what is stressing you and then do something about it. Okay, it does affect our health. It's important for us. Um, we might talk about that later and how it affects our health. It causes us to, you know, be depressed and do different things that we wouldn't normally uh, do. Um, it, it causes weaknesses in our heart and, you know, just different things. So it's, we know that it's not a good idea to stress. So it's best to figure out how we can de-stress if at all possible. Um, we can't avoid it, but we can uh, eliminate it and we can be sure that we're doing uh, what we can, um, you know, for our health. Our mental health is important because what's in our mental actually affects our physical health. And so uh, we talked about that briefly on last Saturday as well. But anyway, uh, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for your time and your patience. And um, I will go ahead and try to download this as I run my errands so I can send it to you all. Um, please continue to remember uh, First Lady Jan Ash. Tomorrow her mother's funeral will be at Agape at 11 o'clock. Um, viewing at 11, funeral at noon. Continue to remember Sister Bertha and her family concerning the loss of her grandson. So we're going to ask that you continue to remember them in prayer. And I pray for you and you pray for me. And I thank you and I appreciate you all. I love you. And for some of you, I'll see you tomorrow. And the rest of you, I will see you on Sunday, Lord willing. Enjoy this beautiful weekend God, God has blessed us with. I love you all. And I pray that you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.